Boom. What is up, everybody? And welcome back to another flow video. This is Jacob Tucker. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a non custodial uh, mainnet account on flow. So Albert, if you're watching this, this is thanks to you, uh, Albert from the flow team. So thanks a lot for, uh, you know, bringing this idea to me. And I'm going to be doing this for you and for anyone else who is curious about, uh, you know, making your own non custodial account on flow mainnet. So for those of you that are wondering, um, non-custodial basically means that you own the private key or that you know the private key. Now, I, I want to mention a few things first. Um, you know, usually when you're interacting with mainnet right now on Flow, you use Blockdo, right? So like, you know, if you go to some page, um, you load in with Blockdo and then, you know, that's your account. The issue is that, um, you know, sometimes you want your own account where you have, you like know the private key, right? Um, and for the record, you know, Blockdo allows you to go non-custodial, so you can actually go to their platform and request non-custodial mode to get your private key. So I just wanted to throw that out there just so that we mentioned all the different options here, but I'm going to be showing you how to actually make your own fully non-custodial account that Blockdo has no idea about. It's your own, okay? So what I actually have open right now is port.onflow.org. Um, I actually didn't even know about this really until like a few weeks ago, but it's pretty cool, right? Look at that animation. Wow, there it is. Um, so we can go ahead and click sign in or sign up. I believe it's the same exact thing. So I'm going to sign in with my Blockdo account. Now I've already signed in with uh, my Blockdo account, but you would have to just type in your email and you know whatever it sends you to your email. So I'm going to uh, confirm this and boom, it's going to take me to the uh, developer portal. Um, so yeah, here we are. Look at me. Look how poor I am in Flow and FUSD. So sad um but what we can do is we can you know I, I, actually i want to give a brief introduction to this i think it's pretty cool right it shows your balance so like you can see your how much storage you've used um there's you know the keys content right so it's pretty cool so anyway uh, and you can even like send flow to somebody so it's a pretty cool platform but what you can do is you can go to this advanced tab at the bottom left and click on um create new account now what you can do here is this is like a little page where you can actually create your own uh, account on mainnet so all you need is like a private key, you know, specify the signature algorithm, hash, and all that kind of stuff. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. So uh, what you have to do is you actually have to get a public key somehow. And so I'm going to be showing you how to do that. So first of all, you need to have the Flow CLI installed on your computer. So um, go to docs.onflow.org slash Flow CLI, and then click on these steps. And, you know, it's actually very simple. For Mac, you literally just paste in this line. For Linux, you literally just paste in this line. For Windows, you literally just paste in this line. So it's very simple. Okay, so then go to your terminal and um, you know you should have the Flow CLI installed. So what you can do is type in like Flow version and hopefully it gives you a version back and that means that boom, it's installed. So what you can do is you can type in Flow um, a, or Flow keys generate um, dash dash network equals mainnet. And if you do that, it's going to generate a private key for you and a public key for you. Now, the private key, you should never, ever, ever share with anyone, right? Obviously, never share your private key with anyone. Um, I'm never going to be using this account, so don't even try it. Don't, don't use this account because everyone knows it already. Um, but what you're going to do is you're going to do this on your computer. Take the public key. So, so, so first of all, save the private key in like a safe spot, right, that you know. You don't want to lose it. Um, and then copy the, the public key here. Go back to um, the flow port and paste in the public key. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to leave this. So leave this at P256, okay? And um, yeah, so leave that there. And then change the hash algorithm to SHA-3, okay? So change it to SHA-3. Now, for the weight, just put 1,000. Um, so, and the reason for this is because on Flow, um, you're, like when you run a transaction or when you uh, send a transaction to the blockchain, you need to sign with a key that has 1,000 weight. So there's no reason to put anything less than that, really. Um, cool. So it'll even like show you what the code is that's doing it if you want, and you can click I have reviewed the above information. All right, so now when we go to press submit, press submit, and let's see what happens. So um, it comes up with a little prompt. We can even read the code here. Uh, we can click approve, and it should be going through. So here's the transaction status. Look, it's a cool little box, um, and hopefully it should go through and be successful, and then we'll have our own uh, you know, account on mainnet. So you can see that, um, I, I just want to point some things out here. So uh, really quickly, so you can see th there's three, there's three um, roles going on in this transaction. There's the authorizer, which is our account. There's the payer, which is Blockdo, right? Because Blockdo is subsidizing the transaction. 
Um, so you may think that you don't have to like have any flow in your account to do this because you're not the payer. That's not true though, because you actually need like a very small amount of flow token in your account in order to actually create the new account on mainnet. So I believe in my account right now, I have 0.1 flow and I'll show you that in a bit. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so let's keep going here. So you can see that, um, you know, it says, you know, transaction complete, awesome. And if we look at the events, you know, page, we can scroll down a little bit to where we see uh, boom. So this event right here. So type flow account, so flow account created. And we can look at um, this right here, this data object. So we can look at this address here. And look, this is our new address. Awesome. So we can take this address and this is our new address. Now we can even look at it on mainnet. Let's go to the flow view source slash mainnet slash account slash and then let's copy and paste that account in and you can see boom so it actually um is created yay um so again we took this address and we pasted it into the the main net view source and we can see it's actually an account now which is super cool um and here's our key that we just added right b111 that's our public key right so b111 awesome so um again you know your account's created now we have the address right here we have uh, and again you can view that right here um, we have, and let me just zoom this in in case anyone can't see it. So this is the flow account created. We have a, our public key and our private key. So boom, there is our account. I hope this was helpful to all of you. Oh, and let me quickly show you that in my account, I have 0.1 flow because you need, uh, you need a little bit of flow in order to actually create the account, even though you're not paying for the transaction. So hope this was helpful. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for tuning in. Peace, peace.